Ready? <laughs> Ready? Yeah? Yeah? Hi guys, thank you for tuning in and welcome to the video. I'm joined by the lovely XL Charlotte. You can't see my hand. Here, here she is. Incredibly nervous as you can see, got a bit of the giggles. Um, she's not quite sure about this whole YouTubing thing. Um, as promised on Twitter, we are going to be answering some of your questions. Thank you for A, keeping them clean and B, for asking some half intelligent ones, some of them, some yeah, of them. if you can agree. Some not so intelligent, we're going to do a bit of a mix. Um, and hopefully you enjoy it. If you do like the video, please give us a like down below. Uh, let us know any comments um, and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of content. If we don't get around to answering your questions, I do apologise. There will be another opportunity um, in the future for you guys to ask us whatever you like. So hopefully this won't be a one-off video in the series. So if you want to take us away. Um, so our first question is from Bongo FPS. How have you and Joel got into the Call of Duty scene? Uh, good question. I, I dis Despite my distinct lack of ability with the game, I actually got into Call of Duty back in 2008. Uh, on Modern Warfare 1 on the Xbox 360. Used to be pretty good, used to be a bit of a GB star, then I kind of got a girlfriend, uh, stopped playing, uh, took a bit of a hiatus from the scene and then I've always loved it though, I've always played COD every single game, always followed the esports scene and eventually just, you know, as soon as we decided, my brother and I, we were going to start an organisation, Call of Duty absolutely had to be the first place we went. Um, probably where I first started was when I got with Joel, uh, we'd go around his house, him and Kieran would be playing, and I'd have no choice but to join in. <laughs> if I wanted to get attention, I needed to join in. Now somehow I have my own Xbox, um, and I beat Shawnee, so I'm actually really good. <laughs> I beat Shawnee. <laughs> Class. Um, so next question's from Woody. Best moment under Excel? Best moment? Um, oh, there's a few to choose from. I suppose one of my favourites is going to be the first Amta Pro event, first time we appeared on main stage against Kaz Esports. Um, we beat them 2-0, but I think the highlights, obviously, Shawnee dropped the infamous 50 bomb in the hard point, and then the capture of the flag, I think it was 5-4 in the end, it was insanely close, and there was just a massive clutch play where I think all four people on our team got a clutch kill in the last 30 seconds to stop them tying it up. We just went absolutely nuts, and I think that put us on the map. I think that was the moment people were like, oh, who's this lot with the loud coaches and the pretty looking polos? And uh, yeah, uh, for now, I'd say that's my favourite, but there's been been quite a few. What's yours? Um, likewise, there's been quite a few, but I think kind of one of the biggest things is seeing the organisation progress into something and getting that recognition from the people that we really need to, to be recognised and, and understood as we're big competition. Okay. Um, so that's kind of one of the biggest moments that nice. I've enjoyed. Um, so the next question for Joel is from Paul M. Wright. Why do you not have a Battlefield or Project Cars team? No idea what Project Cars is. Sorry. Like, uh, it's sorry, like Paul. Forza. I like Forza. Okay. Um, not a big competitive racer on any game and haven't got much interest in it. Personally, I don't know of the scene that might be a big one. It's not something I've come across. Battlefield, on the other hand, is going in the right direction. We do get daily applications from Battlefield teams. It's not something we're looking to get into until there's more of a LAN scene for it. But soon, maybe. Maybe one day. Okay, next question from Harbour. Who's someone you've always wanted to have under Excel? Streamer, staff, or player? Oh, tough question. Lots of people in the community I like. Um, I'm going to go with Tommy. Uh, Vitality Tommy. He's a good friend of ours, but he's also obviously a very influential member of the community. Very good player. Very good streamer. And he's like, he's, he'd be the perfect player to have in that he's, he's an in-game leader. He's great at the game. And he's really good at like understanding the importance of marketing. So... I'd love to get Tommy on board, but that's just me. What about you? Swanee. Swanee. Why Swanee? He's hot. <laughs> Let's move He's on. He's hot. <laughs> um, so right. next question is from Gingy. Who was better at Black Ops 2, Guesty or Kieran? Guesty. And I was better than both of them. That was my game. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. We'll leave it at that. All right. Um, next question from V Styles. Slight. Slight. Close to Styles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. What did V Styles ask us? V Slight. Better. V Slight asked, did Joel have high ambitions for Excel from the start? Yes, absolutely. I've never done anything in life that I haven't felt I could do well, um, or that I was interested in, but absolutely had high ambitions. When Kieran and I, it was actually Kieran, me and Guesty in a Weatherspoons pub in Lancaster last year, decided, just kind of looking at the scene, there are a lot of good organisations, few great ones, and we didn't think it was impossible in a short space of time to become a great organisation with the right <coughs> kind of management. And I mean... Do we have high ambitions? Absolutely. Like we're nowhere near where we're going to take this, are we? Like no. we we're thinking global. You know, this is where's my hand? We're thinking global. We're not stopping now. Um, we're barely getting started, and I do think we've achieved quite a lot in a short space of time. But you know, we owe we owe a lot of people a lot of gratitude for that. But there's so much more um, coming in the future. So thanks. Good question. Um, next question from Wiz. When are you adopting Shawnee as your child? Um, we already have, and we're just waiting for his mum to release him from up north, mm -hmm. just to let you know. So he'll be moving with us. See you next week, Shawnee. And finally, uh, another question from Harbour. Snog, marry or avoid? Aaron, oh. Kieran or Reese? <sighs> Good question. Uh, I'm assuming you want me to... Me to answer this one. I'm not answering this. You're not answering no. this one. Okay, I'll answer this one. I'd have to snog Schnapps, Reese. Uh, he's gorgeous and he's got great fashion sense. I'd marry Aaron because Aaron is bae. And I'd avoid Kieran like the plague. You not having a go? No. No, right. Okay. I'd have, uh, Those yeah. are my answers. Any other questions from the crowd? No? No, nope, that's L it. Looks like it is. Okay, well, thank you very much for tuning in to episode one of Joel and Charlotte's Excel <laughs> Q&A. May try and do it with um, different people as well at, at different times, depending on who comes to visit or, you know, who we can get online. But like I said, if you like the video, let us know. Please subscribe to the channel. And if we didn't get to your questions this time, we'll make every effort to next time. Cheers for tuning in. Thank you. Bye.